All right, so I think I found out the solution is the problem, and I decided to work the problem backwards. But first, I started writing by writing down what I knew was true, which is that Mrs. Parsley took a third of the initial amount. Wolf took one half of what was left after Mrs. Parsley took hers, and Wolf's Woodsman took two thirds after the wolf took his portion, which left six for Granny. I took six times three which equals 18, times two equals 36, times three, which equals 108. And I got the three from Mrs. Parsley's one-third, the two from the one-half of the wolf, and the three again from the woodsman's two-thirds, which means um, she started with 108 jars. Then I decided to work the problem forwards and make sure that I was correct, which I mean I took the 108, the initial amount, times one-third, which equals 36, which is the number Mrs. Parsley took, times one half, which equals 18, which is the number the wolf took, times two thirds, which equals 12, the number the wolfsman took. Now you take 18 minus 12, which equals six, and that's the number that Granny gets. If you have any questions, let me know. I will feel free to answer them. Sometimes my math doesn't really make sense because my brain uh, is always going a million miles an hour when it comes to math. So feel free to ask why I did what I did. Or uh, if you don't understand anything, definitely feel free to let me know. Or if you have any comments, maybe I did something wrong, I would definitely like to know that as well. Thanks for watching.